Today we're talking about croissants and chocolate croissant. I'm gonna show you how how I make them. It's probably it's not professional, but I'm having fun. Let's start with like 55 grams of butter. Like room temperature is gonna be much more easy, easier to to work with. And then I say I got a mix of like 12 grams of salt, 40 grams of sugar. Put it with the butter, add some water and milk, so it's 120 milliliters of water, 170 milliliters of milk. So mix it a little bit just to dissolve sugar and salt. Now we can add the 550 grams of flour. So just clean up a little bit, so it's good to have like a clean spot to work on. Sorry for my friends from the other side of the Atlantic, but I'm not converting everything into Liberty units. And finally, I say we have like 20 grams of yeast. I put it in some water just to help it a little bit. And now just start like mixing it. It's quite sticky for now, it just like sticks on the fingers, but that's totally normal. I say just continue until I see the dough like detach and it gets easy to work. I say if you have a mixer, it also works, just like use a hook, like I did on a slow speed for 10-15 minutes. But I say it's much funnier doing doing it by hand and it's a good workout. Keep mixing the, the dough, I say just until you have like something really smooth and looking good or until your hands really hurt, that's usually when I stop. So uh, once we're done, I say just like form like a nice like bowl-ish dough and wrap it with cling film. You can see I'm really struggling with a with a cling film, but I say it's like one of the worst. We're gonna need a lot today, so good luck. Let it rest for one two hours. Just it should just double volume this time. The yeast doing its work. So our doubt is now ready, just like, gently press with your fingers just to release some air from it just, and form like something squarish. Finally, just rub the dough, I say correctly, <laughs> and it's gonna go into the fridge for two or three hours to rest. So that could be a bit longer, just you have time to get the other things ready. During this time, we're just gonna like prepare some some chocolate. So here we got like 150 grams of dark chocolate. We're gonna do this, I say, in a bamari. There's probably no English word for it. Just like yeah, pour some water in a bigger <clears throat> in a bigger pan. Put a small one in it. So just make sure 
we're not like burning the chocolate because it will just ruin it. Once the chocolate is ready, I'm just gonna pour it as on on a plate with cling film and nicely spread it out into like a three four millimeters thickness rectangle so we can later cut it and have like small chocolate bars for, for the chocolate croissants. Okay, so time for a quick espresso before cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> So now we're gonna prepare the, the butter. So this is like 350 grams of butter. We're just gonna place it into baking paper and press it and form so like a 20, 20 centimeter square. So once we're done, we have a nice square. <coughs> I'm gonna put it back into the fridge so it doesn't melt. So we're back to the doubt. Uh, so we're gonna like gently spread it out to be as as wide as the butter we got before and twice as long approximately. Just put your butter, I say, on one side and then fold it over the butter and like gently seal it. So now we're gonna like, just press press and roll gently just to mix the dough and the butter correctly so it doesn't like spread everywhere. And finally we're gonna spread it out into something that's close enough to a rectangle that will be four times longer as it's wide. So we're gonna have a make a what they called a double turn. So for this, just fold one side to, and the other side. Just leave a small gap in the middle to do the final fold. Here we go, and here we got our double turn. So first step done. We're gonna wrap this and put it back into the fridge for 30 minutes, one hour. Okay, so now we're just gonna repeat the last step. Just turn your dough like from 90 degrees, and we're gonna spread it out again, like press and roll, spread it out into a rectangle four times as long as as wide, and make another double turn as previously. As before, fold one side, fold the other one, leave a small gap and just final fold to get our double turn. Same. Just wrap it, put it back into the fridge for 30 minutes, one hour. 
So it's gonna be our last step before the final step. Okay, here we go. So it, I see I wrapped this one really, really good. I don't find <laughs> how to open it. Okay, here we go. Here we're gonna spread the dart out to like something that will be like close to 60 centimeters long, 30 35 centimeters wide, so like thickness of four or five millimeters. Just, it's it's not that precise. Just do something that looks good. For a fun fact, I say <coughs> croissant, chocolate croissants are like as we call it in France, viennoiserie, and. It's, I say, the origin is from the Austrian city of Vienna, and I live in Austria for over two years now, and there's like no way to find like proper croissant in this country. So it's kind of a weird thing, but apparently they invented it and now they're unable to have some. So for the chocolate croissants, we're gonna cut like rectangles that will be something like eight centimeters wide between 10-15 centimeters long so just use a knife or a pizza cutter doesn't does work well but I don't have any so I'm gonna prepare this meanwhile always make sure that I say that your dough doesn't like get too warm I say don't don't hesitate to put it back into the fridge if you feel like it's getting I say over 27 degrees Celsius or something Now I say we're gonna put like one bar of chocolate and wrap the dart around it. Then we're gonna put a second bar right there and then roll it once, twice, and we got our chocolate croissant. So just now repeat this operation for every chocolate croissant. It's gonna take not that long. So for the croissants, we're gonna cut some kind of triangle things and to form them just like gently put on the longer side and just roll one, two, three times, getting like a nice croissant shape and we're good. My, my dot starts being kind of too warm now but I'm almost done so I'm just gonna like hurry up. So at this point, I say you, you can put your chocolate croissant, your croissants into the freezer on some baking paper, and I say keep them for when you want some for the breakfast. Just get them out of the freezer the night before. Leave them in, I say in the in the oven uh, off. I say during the night and in the morning you can just like reheat them. If you want to try them right away, just leave your croissant, chocolate croissant, rest for an hour or two. I say to just see how how they grow, and you can put them into the oven like for 10-15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. And here's the result. So they are looking good. It could have been a it's more fluffier, but I see we we have the layers. It tastes and smells like crazy. So we're just gonna check the inside. I see lots of air, and yep, it's crunchy. Tastes good. <clears throat> That's a good piece of friends.